which is uh, coming through. Uh, but uh, I think Ultratech is uh, also reported uh, numbers. Uh, and let's take it to Nigel. Uh, Nigel, uh, how do they look? Well, the numbers were weak, actually, but the stock is not falling off the cliff. Let's run you through the reasons. Well, the realizations as well as volume growth are a little bit lower than what the street was working with. And select costs were higher than estimated. Now, just to pull up all the numbers, if you look at the revenues, you look at the EBITDA, EBITDA margins, profitability, all of them did miss what we were working with. So a few factors that played out. First, the domestic volume growth was 3%. We were working with a number of around three and a half to around five percent. So that's a small miss on that front. And the utilization levels were at around sixty-eight percent. That compares with more than eighty percent on a quarter to quarter basis. Realizations took a knock, they were down by close to eight and a half percent on a year in year basis. And their product mix actually is quite strong because premium product mix is close to around twenty-three percent, which has been stable over the last few quarters. How do they gain well on the power and fuel costs? So power and fuel costs, and if you look at the fuel consumption. That has come down by close to 10% on a quarter and quarter basis, and on a year and year basis, it's down by close to around 18%. Green power as a percentage of the mix has moved up. Uh, you know, they have been focusing on the WHRS, which is the waste heat recovery system as well. And that's why those costs have come down. Even if you look at, uh, you know, uh, the, the power cost actually has come down. Now, where is the problem then? The problem was on two aspects. One is the raw material cost. Well, on a quarter-to-quarter -quarter basis, it was up by closer on 3%. On a year-to-year -year basis, it was up by 1%. So that was one of the factors that hurt them. The other factor is the other cost. You know, the other cost per ton, that has spiked up by closer around 14% on a quarter-to-quarter -quarter basis, and it's more or less flattish on a year-to-year -year basis. What happened there? How come we did, saw such a big spike on the, on the other cost per ton? There was a, a plant maintenance activity that took place. There was an annual increment as well that's reflected in there and uh, impact of not getting operating leverage. So both these two costs, raw material costs as well as other costs per ton, both of them hurt them. And put all this together, it resulted in the EBITDA per ton coming down by more than 220 rupees on a per ton basis, which is a disappointment. The reported number is around 732 uh, rupees per ton. Most on the street were in that vicinity of around 770 to more than 800 rupees. So that's a miss on that front. The debt number as well has moved up because they've been expanding capacity. Give and take everything, the numbers go down as a miss. The past quarter was a, was, was a disappointing one, but it appears the street is prepared to look ahead to the second half of the year, and they're hoping that volumes will pick up, or, you know, you'll have realizations that should, should be more or less steady, and they'll get the benefit of lower input cost as well. So the numbers are disappointing, but it seems for the time being, the street wants to look ahead to this big boy. Well, that's about Ultratech. I think for the time being, what we'll do is we'll take a short break. Come back, continue to focus on markets, and Nimesh will join us to give us an insight in these three chat.